Hey everyone, how's it going? So I am with the Cybertruck. I'll be installing the 70 My dash cam A510 set. And this is dual channel recording. It has 1944 pixel with HDR, Sony Starvis 2 IMX 675. And you also have dual channel recording. That means you can record from the front, the rear, or inside the cabin using two lens. You have parking surveillance, built-in GPS and ADAS, as well as application control so you can control this from your mobile phone the reason i'm installing this is because i want to have a backup dash cam for the tesla vehicle and this is a tesla cybertruck it's not reliable to rely just on the dash cam within the tesla vehicle because sometimes it can be corrupted not recording or doesn't save right and this will also preserve power because tesla sentry mode causes a loss of almost 10 percent each day so you can turn it off if you're low on range and utilize this dash cam because it also serves as a parking sensor recording 24 7 when you need it to record so let's go ahead and dive right into it okay so let's go ahead and unbox this first so very nice packaging again 1944 uh, pixel with hdr sony starvas to IMX675 dual channel recording. You also have the parking surveillance 24 7, built in GPS and ADAS, and also app control. So you can control this with the application. User manual. Here's the camera itself. So you have dual channel. So you can have it either facing the back or inside the cabin. This actually feels really high quality. They have that Sony Starvas lens. It's very compact. Very cool. And then the back camera, you run this um, facing the back or inside a cabin, ideally. Then you should have some harnesses to power up the device. You can do hard wire. You have your removable uh, adhesive attachment. So when you want to take this camera off, you can. It's not permanently on there. There you go. So it slides on just like that. There's uh, two sided tape on the other side, and it comes off just like that. And this rotate 60 degree angle, so up and down. You can't rotate it all the way to the back, but that's why you have the second channel rear facing camera. And they do give you an adapter, so it does require a USB C, a USB A con connector or adapter. Um, the Cybertruck does not have a uh, outlet, so this actually will just plug in and there's a long harness wire that you run it down. And there's the USB-C connection. They also uh, sell the hard wire as well. If you want to hard wire directly into the power of your uh, rear rear mirror cover here, there should be power. You can also get the direct heart wire connection. And this is how it looks. So you can heart wire it into a power source. Okay. So we'll be running this to the uh, USB-C. So that's the harness we'll be using. And that is it. That's everything inside the package. And let me pan down here. So you can take a look what is included in the packaging. So there you have it. That is everything. Now we're gonna install this up here where the actual um, visor doesn't hit it. And again, this is very compact. So essentially you can run it right here and and it still won't interfere. It'll go right past. 
and then you face this forward. Uh, if you want better visibility, you can place it uh, right in the middle, just like that, behind the actual um, rear view mirror, and that works as well. So you want it here or here. Uh, ideally, you want it here. And 70MI also sells the micro SD. So this is 128 gig, uh, definitely more affordable compared to the competitor. And I like how they have this easy open seal in the back here. Let's pop this open and you have access to it. So where I'm gonna install this is right under or behind the actual mirror here. So it's right down here. I'll run the wire along here across the actual headliner and we're in business. Okay, so let's go ahead and test this camera out. So right now is almost sunset, but we still have good enough light out there to be able to see the capability of this camera during daytime and then the night owl vision afterwards. So you can see it's very clear with 1994 pixel. So very, very crystal clear you will be able to make out license plate. What's cool about this is you can also connect it by Wi-Fi to your phone and see a live feed of what you see on the actual camera. So right now I have it on my phone as well. So I see what the camera is currently seeing and you actually can control it from your phone. So taking a photo, recording voice, or pausing, downloading an active event, and so forth so you constantly have control so we'll switch to the second channel so using the rear camera now but i'm facing forward you can see there is also very clear again now is closer to sunset so during the dark the night owl night vision works really well and you also have a timestamp you can put on the lower left um, right now i blocked that out but you have the date time and of course you can always and right turn now off we're just parked the logo see how too. fluid the flow is with the recording it's very smooth there's no pixelated or pause or delay whatsoever with the recording so you can see there for yourself with the car crossing the intersection very fluid very smooth and it's also very quick to download so a lot of the aftermarket camera it takes forever but for two minutes video, you can download it within a matter of seconds. So if you're interested in this product, again, check it out. Link in the description of this video. Highly recommend this. And if you have other questions or comments, uh, feel free to check out the website. Link in the description as well. And we'll catch you up next time. Remember to subscribe. Take care.